Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. It's in the description below. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing. Today, we're discussing a model launched at Basel 2019, the swan song of Basel World, and one of the best Pateks of the year in rose gold. This is the Patek Philippe 5905R001 annual calendar flyback chronograph, 42 millimeters in lush rose gold. You can see in a fashion that visually pairs the mass, the lugs have been scalloped and hollowed with mirrored surfacing on their interior. There's a lovely concave bezel profile and graceful tapering lugs. So 42 millimeters by 14.5 millimeters thick and lug to lug 50.2 millimeters. The timepiece features a large rectangular scale alligator leather strap with a folded edge, a monotone stitch, a high gloss finish, and you can see on the underside, it is a brand new calfskin Patek Leap factory strap with pull tab spring bars for quick removal. Taking a quick look at the watch on my wrist, you can see that as a 42, it has more wrist presence than the previous 5960. The timepiece has a graceful lug profile that wears well at the edge of the wrist, but you can see that I probably wouldn't wear this watch on a wrist smaller than 15 centimeters circumference, and my wrist, of course, 16 centimeters circumference. You can see that down the barrel shot, I'm pretty much at the edges, and you can really see that best from overhead. Taking one last quick look at the strap, I mentioned it's a brand new Patek factory strap. Gator on the top, calf on the bottom, and there is a matching rose gold spade style polished pin buckle. The case is gorgeous. As you can see, the pusher adjusters for the annual calendar on the nine o'clock side, rolling around to the chronograph pushers and crown, the Calatrava cross, symbol of Patek, and then these vintage inspired lozenge style or rectangular pushers. Concave bezel running all the way around, a dial that is best described as a sort of brown bronze. Truly beautiful and subtle. What it is effectively is a sector dial and a gradient dial as it fades from a sort of light brown bronze to almost black at its edge. The sector elements are all expressed in metallic tones rather than being a printed feature on the dial. So you have the combination of these metallic chapterings as well as the overarching applique rose gold faceted and polished indices separating the portions of the quote sector. It is a loomed watch, there will be a loom shot, and it's actually quite good in that regard. The system has been simplified from the previous 5960 in that we don't have the bullseye mono counter down at six o'clock. We just have chronograph minutes, but note that it is a 60 minute register rather than the more common 30 minute register seen on most chronographs. There is an AM PM indicator, that little hollow at 30 on the register. When it's dark, don't use the calendar pusher adjusters. When it's light, you're safe to use the pusher adjusters. Now the watch is a flyback chronograph, which means I can reset and restart using only the trigger at four o'clock. I do not need to stop it first. It's also an annual calendar, which means through the apertures, you see the day, the date, and the month, and you only need to make one adjustment per year, the jump from February to March, thus an annual calendar, a system that Patek Philippe invented back in 1996. Rolling the watch over, we have caliber CH28520, originally debuting on the Nautilus chronograph in the 5960 in 2006. It's a unidirectional winder with high efficiency ceramic rotor bearings. It has a 45 to 55 hour power reserve. Beats weigh at 8 beats per second. It's adjusted in six positions, has an anti magnetic silicon hairspring, and a free sprung gyro max style balance. The hairspring, the six position adjustment, the Gyromax architecture means that from the factory, this watch is rated to perform no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. It is also a column wheel and vertical clutch chronograph, meaning the column wheel gives it that crisp, sharp, tactile bite, almost like the bolt of a fine rifle. And then it also gives it that snap that's audible to the ear. The vertical clutch system is designed to ensure that this watch will feature no chronograph seconds jump or stagger when you start it. Another thing that's important about the vertical clutch, it lets you run the chronograph full time. So you can see this watch has a fairly dead dial if the chronograph's not running, there is no constant seconds. So the vertical clutch lets you run the chronograph full time if you want to have a constant seconds display. And although the watch does not have hacking seconds, keep in mind, you can always zero reset it using the flyback if you are using the chrono seconds as your running seconds. The timepiece is beautifully executed, handmade inside and out, and the movement features all of the 
standards of Geneva high horology, including mirrored englage, Cote de Genève in circular fashion, engine turning, black polished screws, and if you look carefully, you can also see satination on the wheels, their rims and their spokes. And then the quality of the black polishing on the screw heads extends not just the head of the screw, but also the chamfered inner slot and the chamfered circumference. So this is a beautifully made movement and a beautifully made watch. One of the best all-around protects for appearance, balance, and value and complication. This is the 5905R. Back with the 5905R, I forgot to mention that the lug spacing is 22 millimeters.